ஓகே குட் மார்னிங் ஓகே திஸ் இஸ் யோவன் ஸ்ரானகன் பொன் செல்வான் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு ஹேண்டில் பயோமெடிக்கல் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்டேஷன் பேசிஸ் ஆஃப் பயோமெடிக்கல் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்டேஷன் திஸ் இஸ் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் கிளாஸ் ஓகே ஸோ இன் திஸ் கிளாஸ் ஐ வில் சி த சிலபஸ் டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் த சம்மரி ஆஃப் அவர் சிலபஸ் ஸோ வாட் ஆர் திங்ஸ் யூ ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டடி இன் பயோமெடிக்கல் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்டேஷன் ஓகே ரைட் ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் வட் இஸ் பயோமெடிக்கல் ஸோ பயோமெடிக்கல் மீன்ஸ் தட் இஸ் பயோ தட் மீன்ஸ் த லிவிங் திங்ஸ் ஓகே ரைட் ஸோ வாட் ஆர் த திங்ஸ் ஆர் வாட் ஆர் த எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் இன்வால்வ் இன் பயோமெடிக்கல் ஓகே ஸோ வி ஆர் நாட் ஸ்டடிங் த திங் தட் இஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு மெடிக்கல் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஓகே பட் as a engineer we are going to study what are the equipments that is used in bio medical okay so electronics equipments how we are measuring the biomedical signals and how we are manufacturing what are the electrodes used okay these are things we are going to study by this subject okay then instrumentation the sense the instruments the equipments what are the equipments that is used to measure the biomedical signals okay so we are going to study the basis of biomedical instrumentation okay the first unit that is biopotential generation and electrode types biopotential what is potential potential means the voltage voltage okay so biopotential means bio voltage so in our body we are having some electric or electric signals so our body is having some potential okay so consider our neuron neuron transfer the information in the form of some signals electric signals our heart is beats based on some electric pulses okay so if your heart not working means we are making some uh, we are giving some electric pulse to our heart to function okay so our body brain and heart everything fully based on some electric signals very weak electric signals electric voltages okay so that is a bio potential or bio voltage okay for example consider one microcontroller or microprocessor it has a pulses pulses means clock okay so without clock the microprocessor or microcontroller cannot do anything okay so it needs some external clock okay same way in our body or the human can operate with clock okay if the human having uh, no clock that means that if the human fails to use clock then he is considered as a death okay so clock represent the pulses pulses is coming from our heart okay heart is operated based on electric signal that electric signal is bio potential okay similarly our brain our brain is also operated based on some potential bio potential okay so our human body is act as a magnet okay it having some waves around our human structure so that uh, some god photos shows that uh, around the head they are having some light that is called the holy water of the sun okay so it having power every human having its own power that is a electric power electric potential bio electric potential okay so how the bioelectric potential generated and how it is measured what are the electrodes used so that is we are going to study in unit 1 so on the origin of bio potential and its propagation propagation means 
moving one place to another place so the how it transfer from one place to another place okay so bioelectric potential generation and propagation is the first topic and the second one is the type of electrodes okay electrodes means that is a instrument that is used to measure the bio potentials okay that is the electrodes so and the type of electrodes that is a surface electrode needle electrode micro electrodes and their equivalent circuits every electrodes having its equivalent circuit equivalent circuit represent and the capacitor resistor okay combination of this and the voltage source these are the equivalent circuit okay then third topic is recording problems during the uh, time of measuring the bio potential what are the problems you are faced okay that is recording problems okay with two electrodes so if you are using two electrodes what are the problems is faced that is studied in the third topic okay then uh, consider the unit two uh, unit two is bio signal characteristics and electrode configurations bio signal characteristics we are going to study the characteristics of bio signal for example you are uh, diode characteristics means you are already studied voltage and current characteristics okay how the diode performing uh, depends on voltage and current same way uh, bio signal characteristics we are going to study some frequency and amplitude ranges okay that is uh, the characteristics is fully based on frequency and amplitude ranges the next one is we are on, uh, studying on theorem that is the endovan triangle that is also another one uh, then ecg measurement how is how we measure ecg then what are the standard uh, format lead system of ECG okay and EEG electroencephalogram that is brain signal measurement ECG is electrocardiograph that is heart beat measurement okay EEG uh, that is you have to measure the brain functions okay uh, for example uh, if consider one person who meet an accident then he is in coma stage so in coma stage means the brain is not working so in this type of patients is come under EEG measurement okay if someone having heart attack okay then they that patient is going to measure ECG the cardiogram okay so this is uh, how we are measuring what are the electrodes we are used what are the standard format is used okay so in ecg measurement we are using standard 12 electrode system 12 lead system eeg measurement is 10 to 20 electrode system is used okay then the electrodes is different types that is a unipolar bipolar okay right then next one is next one is emg that is a electromyogram myogram okay Electromyograph is uh, another one thing that is uh, is to measure the flush. Okay, thasai, not only thasai, but in only other problem that we are concerned with is EMG. Okay, that is in second unit. And third unit is fully based on the uh, that is uh, circuits. What are the circuits used in biomedical instrumentation? That is the first one is bio amplifier. What is bio amplifier? What are the needs of bio amplifier? Okay, bio amplifier nothing but different cell amplifier. Okay, and bio amplifier that is used to amplify the signals. Okay, bio signals. So the bio amplifier should be very no very less noise. Okay, very very low noise and high gain should be high gain. So that is a good bio amplifier. So one of the uh, example for bio amplifier is differential amplifier and it is also called as instrumentation amplifier. Okay, instrumentation amplifier is also used in bio signal amplification. Then imbed impedance matching circuit. Impedance matching. What is impedance matching? 
if the two things one electrode is having uh, two glow ohm uh, our bio amplifier input is having four glow ohm so two and four we cannot connect so it's a different the impedance matching circuit can match different impedance between the two devices okay then isolation amplifiers isolation means the separation so the isolation amplifier can amplify the signal uh, between the high and low voltages okay so isolation amplifier uh, just amplify the signal between high voltage stage to low voltage stage okay then power line interference that is interference means disturbance or noise that is uh, how the power line power line represent our ev line uh, our 230 volt line that how this lines is affect our bio signal that is interference how it makes some interference then uh, ecg amplifier light truck drive one okay this is a uh, ecg measurement things and band pass filtering so filtering is very important uh, without filter uh, we cannot do anything so every signal every signal having some filter every electronic circuit having some filter even one amplifier instead of an audio amplifier having filter the filter is a equal as well okay so uh, these are the third unit and the fourth unit is measurement of non-electrical parameters non-electrical parameters means uh, in a, from the, up to third unit we are uh, we, we are measuring some electrical parameters okay that is a ECG is electrical parameters EEG is electrical parameters then EMG is electrical parameters non-electrical parameter means the temperature okay then respiration rate pulse measurement blood pressure measurement okay so these are the non-electrical parameters so how these are measured then what are the instrument we are used for the measurement of electrical parameters okay then uh, blood pressure measurement and systolic nosolic pressure blood flow okay cardiac output okay these are the measurements or non electrical measurement so that is we are, we can we know about the blood pressure measurement right okay blood pressure measurement is non electrical quantity then temperature is also non electrical quantity okay these are uh, non electrical quantity that is a non electrical parameter measurement then the fifth unit is very smaller unit biochemical measurement biochemical measurement okay so uh, uh, up to third unit in third unit we have studied the electrical quantity measurement fourth unit we will study that is non electrical parameters measurement of non electrical parameter and the fifth unit is measurement of biochemical biochemical means that is chemical related gas a uh, blood gas and lesser okay and then invasive monitoring calorimeter okay calorimeter these are the some blood related measurements okay then sodium potassium analyzer okay right then blood cell counter then auto analyzer okay these are the biochemical measurement okay so this is the overall syllabus a very smallest unit okay uh, most of the units are very smaller very few questions okay right next we will see uh, important questions in first unit okay actually uh, this subject or this course is very very easiest one very very interesting one okay uh, we can uh, use we can uh, uh, take a sample from our day to day life okay for example if you are studying the ecg measurement we can see in hospital that is how they are measuring ecg okay similar way uh, it is very easy uh, to understand okay right study well Okay, next time to see the important questions in first unit okay